Hello and welcome to the another episode of uh, Daily Quiz for IAS Prelims 2025. It is 25th of July today and we are going to discuss 10 most important questions in it. You know, few that is five of the questions are related to the current affairs, which we had already discussed in our current affairs session. You know, the idea for behind this is that you it will help you revise your current affairs and also it will give you it, it can it will give give you an idea how the questions from the current affairs can be framed in the exam and also we take the previous year questions you know we complete our ancient history portion now we are taking the medieval history questions you know we take these questions so that you will get the idea how the questions do come in the exam and also it will help you you know, when you study your previous year questions very well, you understand the options, you remember them, it definitely will help you in eliminating many options in the upcoming next exam. You know, uh, it is the trend of the UPSC. They often, you know, they often repeat the options or they often re repeat the statements in mentioned in the previous year exams. So it is uh, very, very well said that the, your previous year question papers are like the Bible to you. If you remember them, it will be easy for you to crack your upcoming exam. So without any delay, I would first I would like to take this moment to request you guys, please do subscribe the channel and you know, share these videos with your friends. Maybe they will need the help which is required for them. You know, and also this will definitely help uh, in piling up your preparation. So please do subscribe the channel and sh uh, hit the like button and share with your friends. Now, without any delay, let's start our first question. You know, we discussed about the reintroduction of cheetahs. We discussed uh, it with respect to the Kono National Park. We discussed it with respect to the another, uh, this Gandhi Sagar Sanctuary also. So here I had framed a question on Gandhi Sagar Sanctuary. Let us see what does it say. The question says, Gandhi Sagar Sanctuary is a protected area located in which of the following states in India. Uh, so we have to find out in which state it is located and, uh, and I will give you a guess here that it is located on the banks of River Chambal. So is it MP, Mar Madhya Pradesh, is it Rajasthan? Uh, no, it is not the Rajasthan. Is it Gujarat? No, at, not at all. Is it Maharashtra? Not at all. So the correct option for the option, question number one is option A, it is Madhya Pradesh. Uh, where this Gandhi Sagar sanctuary is located and it is said that uh, within a year uh, the cheetahs from African continent would be transferred here. Now coming to the question number two, we discussed about the, the powers of uh, president and governor, how they cannot be prosecuted uh, in any criminal charge when they are in, uh, when they are doing their duty. So with respect to that, we have this question according to the SC right. No, no, sorry, we have different question here. First, it is uh, related to the right to shelter. It says according to the Supreme Court's right to shelter, uh, it can be traced in which of the following articles. Is it Article 19? No. Is it Article 29? Not at all. Is it Article 30? Not at all. It is definitely Article 21. So for the question number two, the right to shelter can be traced from uh, in the Article 21. It can be read with the Article 21. It was about the right to shelter. We discussed uh, drug and condition there. Uh, we discussed about the railways, uh, that conflict between railways and the family, fam uh, about 50, uh, about 400 families. You know, we discussed uh, that case with respect to the what was the High Court ruling, and we finally discussed the Supreme Court ruling. So in that ruling, the Supreme Court said right to shelter comes under Article 21. So for the question number two, the correct option would be option B. Now coming to the question number three, it says which of the following is a key component of the TB treatment strategy under the revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. We discussed it with respect to the ICMR, that is Indian Council of Medical Research. And we discussed in it that how ICMR is ready to transfer technology uh, uh, to treat, uh, uh, in, to help in TB detection system. We discussed about the technology also, which is CRISPR case based TB detection system. So with respect to that, we have, with respect to the TB itself, uh, TB treatment strategy, we have this question. It says, which of the following is a key component of the TB treatment strategy under the revised National Tuberculosis Control Program? 
is it a dots which is a directly observable treatment shots course you know everybody would know about this option is it fixed dose combination uh, fdc therapy 100% is it active case findings 100% it is also so for the question number 3 the correct option would be all of the above it would be the option d is the correct option for the question number 3 now moving forward uh, to the uh, Im uh, immunity given to the governor and president we discussed about that you know i had misplaced that question now here it comes the question number 4 says article 361 of the indian constitution deals with the following a protection of president and governors from legal proceedings let's keep it here option b disqualification of members of parliament not at all option c powers of the parliament to amend the constitution it is not that is article 368 is that and option d procedure for the impeachment of the president not at all so for the question number 4 the correct option would be option a it is the uh, article 361 is related to the protection of president and governors from legal proceedings when they are in the office now coming to the question number 5 it says which of the following is a flagship program of indian council of medical research icmr aimed at promoting indigenous research and development of diagnostic tools and vaccines is it national health mission no i don't think so is it revised national tuberculosis control uh, i don't know is it uh, uh, indian initiative for medical simulation and innovation not at all is it extra mural research scheme 100% for the question number 5 uh, the correct option would be option d it is extra mural research scheme now we, now we had completed our uh, current affairs session related questions now we have here the previous year questions previous year questions from the previous year papers now let us see about let's discuss about them here the question number 6 says nostalgic was what was this nostalgic was it a person uh, persian script to use it in medieval india Uh, what do you think was it the persian uh, script read let's see about it was it a raga composed by tansen no was it a sas levied by mughal ruler not at all option d was it a manual of code of conduct for ulemas uh, no not at all so for the question number 6 nastalik was a persian script used in medieval india so for the question number 6 the correct option would be option a now coming to the question number 7 it talks about the sufi saints the sufi saint who maintained that devotional music was one way of coming close to god was who was that uh, sufi saint who uh, who said that the, demo, the devotional music you know it uh, is one of the way to come close to the god was he muinuddin chasti was he baba farid i don't think he was baba farid was it shah alam bukhari no i don't think so was it maulana aminuddin owaisi and no he was not uh, he was not in favor of music so definitely the option a is the correct option he was muinuddin chasti rahmatullah alai who who was in favor of uh, music as a way of coming close to god now coming to the question number 8 it says mughal paintings reach its zenith under uh, humayun no akbar uh, not at all was he jahan shah jahan it was architecture which reached it is zenith under shah jahan so for the question number 8 the correct option would be jahangir it is under his time the mughal paintings reached it is top level now coming to the question number 9 it says in medieval india mansabdari system was introduced for a making recruitment to the army you know it seems relevant but i don't think this is the correct option option b facilitating revenue collection Uh, it is also it seems somehow related but not the correct option c ensuring religious harmony it was not it is uh, it was religious harmony was not it, in its line option d effective clean administration so in this question you know option a it seems relevant but it is not the correct uh, definition of mansabdari so for the question number 9 it would definitely be the correct option would be option d it is effective clean administration because it contain both military administration and civil administration and all that stuff so for the question number 9 it is option d which is the correct option now coming to the last question of today's discussion it talks about prem vatka poems of the life of krishna were composed by who was the person who composed prem vatka poems of the life of krishna was he bihari was he surdas or was he kabir 
none among the three. It was definitely the option C, which is Ras Khan, who composed the Prem Vatka poems of the life of Krishna. So for the question number 10, the correct option would be option C. So with this, we complete uh, our today's discussion with respect to the daily quiz. I hope you would, uh, you would have liked this and I hope I was able to add to your, in I was able to add some information in your preparation. So thank you for staying with me and please do, uh, do subscribe the channel. You know, it gives us the motivation to work more hard on it. Thank you. Thank you very much.